Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to our bid to find the best team in Major League Baseball history and today's knockout game sees the 1975 Cincinnati Reds taking on the 2007 Colorado Rockies. Now both these teams came through an inter-franchise playoff to get here, so I'll leave the links to those at the top of the description for the video below. Uh, but for this one, it is, uh, well, the Cincinnati Reds went 108 and 54 in their regular season while the Rockies went 90 and 73. Now, if you are new, this is a one-off game. We default to Modern Era Strategy World Series rosters if available. Otherwise, I believe it defaults to the uh, to opening day. Uh, and there's no injuries. 25-player rosters. Let's go and have a look at those rosters. And here they are here with their stats from their particular season. So 1975 for the Reds, 2007 for the Rockies. Uh, I've moved myself to the middle, as you can see. So you should be able to zoom in and have a longer look if you want to have a look at everybody's, uh, everybody's stats here that are available. And otherwise, we're going to go and check the starting lineups. All right, and here they are here. So leading off the Reds, it is Ken Griffey in right field. Pete Rose bats second at third. Joe Morgan is batting three at second base. George Foster cleans up in left field. Johnny Bench is catching at five. Tony Perez at first base bats six. It is Cesar Geronimo in center field batting seven. Dave Concepcion at uh, shortstop is batting eight. And uh, Don Gullett is on the mound. And for the Rockies, it is Willie Tavares in center field leading things off. Todd Helton at first base bats second. Matt Holliday in left field bats third. Brad Horpy, uh, I think that's how you pronounce that, is uh, cleaning up in right field. I have struggled with that now in the franchise playoff too, I think, didn't I? Uh, Garrett Atkins at third base bats five. Uh, Troy Tawutsky is batting uh, short stopping at six, I should say. Jamie Carroll at second base, bat seven. It is Jorvet Toreleva uh, catching at eight. And Frankie Morales is uh, on the mound for the Rockies. So let's get this underway. And I think we would say the Rockies are very much second favorites for this one. Um, but I, what I would say is that we've seen already in this series that a team that has a bit of power can obviously go a long way. And... I think we've also seen pitching is quite important as we get a pop-up there to start things off. And you do wonder if the Rockies pitching may well be what lets them down as Pete Rose draws a walk for one on, one out. Joe Morgan now. A full count. Morgan grounds it into a double play. Surely we get one. It's just going to be the one. And uh, it'll be George Foster with two out with a man at first. Another full count. Another ground ball. And that should end the inning. It does. And the Rockies keep the Reds scoreless in the top of the first. And we'll move on. Don Gullett will face Willie Tavares. It is an 0-2 pitch. And Tavares strikes out on three pitches. One away. In comes Todd Helton. It's a 1-2 pitch. Helton strikes out on four pitches. It's just going to be a fifth pitch strikeout for Matt Holiday. Oh, another 1-2 pitch. And another strikeout. Well, that's a decent start for Gullett, isn't it? <clears throat> and we'll go to the top of the second. Johnny Bench will be leading things off. A 3-1 pitch. And it's a leadoff walk, which uh, is never a great thing. In comes Tony Perez. i tell you what I say about power in the lineup. The Reds aren't half bad, are they? There goes the runner. And is he going to get thrown out? Oh, no, he gets there. So runner at second, none away. Can Perez drive in the opening run of the game? It's a ground ball. It'll get the runner over to third with one away so there'll be two chances to score the opening run here the first of those will go to Geronimo it's a 1-1 pitch and it is kept in front of him by the catcher so it is now a full count and a strikeout for uh, Morales his first I believe I think it's his first isn't it yes it is so it's Dave Concepcion can he drive it around a 1-2 pitch he has hit it into right field but it's going to be caught and the Reds are scoreless through two and the Rockies with Brad Horpy will now uh, come up to bat. An 0-2 pitch. Another strikeout for Gullet. All four of the uh, of the Rockies have gone down on strike so far. Atkins now. A 1-0. At least he's not going to strike out. Oh, he's not going to strike out. He's absolutely belted the cover off of it. And it is 1-0 to the Rockies. And that one might land in LA, I think. That is huge. 428 feet. And Garrett Atkins... Is the upset on? One run, one hit, and he's the only person that's even gone close to hitting the ball for a Rocky. All right, Tulowitzki now. Let's see what he can do. A 2 1 pitch. And he's hit it well into center field, but uh, center field is, oh, just about there. Leaping catch. Almost, uh, you'd say, back to back there, perhaps. Carroll now, a 2 2 pitch. 
Carroll grounds it to the shortstop. So that'll do it for the second. But the Rockies have somewhat of a surprise lead. And it'll be Don Gullett now to have a bat. An 0-2 pitch. And he has grounded that to the first baseman for one away. <clears throat> it'll bring up top of the order Ken Griffey who's 0 for 1. It's a 1-1 pitch. And Griffey has sent it into center field. But it'll be caught. And that'll be 2 away. And Pete Rose now. An 0-1 pitch. And Pete Rose has got it over the infield. And it'll drop in for a two-out single. So he is... Uh, is he 2 for 2 now? Would he walk last? He is 2 for 2. So it'll bring up Morgan. He's 0 for 1 today. It's a 1-0 pitch. Pete Rose tries to steal second. And this time he gets there again, does he? So can the Reds tie it up? A 2-2 pitch. And it's a ground ball to the shortstop. It should be out at first. And the Rockies go to the bottom of the third, still with a one-run lead. Torrelaba will lead things off. His first at bat of the game, an 0-1 pitch. And he has grounded it to the third baseman for one away. Assuming everybody does their jobs, of course, which they did. Morales now will come up to bat. A 1-2 pitch on him. Morales has got it into right field for a single. So, Frankie Morales is... Uh, well, he's doing a job, isn't he? Uh, Tavare, uh, Ta Tavare, Tavares got there eventually a one-two pitch he has hit that well into left center field and is that going to score the runner from first now pitchers famously not good base runners uh but he's going to stop at third so the rockies have runners at second and third one away and todd helton at the plate who is 0 for one it's an 0-2 pitch and helton has got it through that could score two and the cincinnati reds they are three nothing down one away runner at second and are we going to see the second, surely, major upset of this knockout round after the Yankees got knocked out? Halliday with a 2-2 pitch. Grounds it to the shortstop. Runner will stay at second. He'll be out at first for two away. And it's Brad Horpy now who is 0-1. An 0-2 pitch. And Horpy strikes out to end the third. But it is 3-0. All right. Let's go and see what the Reds can do with bat in hand. It is Foster to lead things off. He's 0-1. It's a 1-2 pitch. And it is a strikeout as he goes down looking. In comes Bench, who is, uh, walked last time up. It's a 1-2 pitch. And that's a ground ball to the third baseman. That should be 2 away. And it is Tony Perez, who is 0-1. for 1. It's an 0-2 pitch. And Perez goes down on strikes. So that'll do it for the top of the fourth. The Reds, not only are they scoreless, they've only had one hit. Atkins, and we know what he did last time up. It's a 2-2 pitch this time. And Atkins strikes out for one away. In will come to what to, 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 I got it last time, I think. Tolowitzki. He strikes out. <clears throat> Seven strikeouts now for Gullet, but he's also given up three runs. It is Jamie Carroll. A 3-1 pitch. Grounded to the shortstop. And that'll do it for the Rockies in the fourth. So it is still 3-0. As the Reds go to bat. And can they do anything about that deficit? Geronimo will lead things off. He is 0 for 1. It's a first pitch swing. Geronimo hits it into left field. It is a sliding catch out there for 1 away. In comes Concepcion who is 0 for 1. It's a 2-2. Two -two. He strikes out. 2 away. And that will bring the pitching slot up. And Gullet will bat. He's 0 for 1 of course. It's a first pitch swing. And Gullet grounds it to the foul, oh, past the first baseman. So Gullet has himself a hit. A two-out single, which will bring Ken Griffey up. He's 0 for 2. It's a 1-2. And Ken Griffey has popped it up. Infield fly. It'll be caught by the shortstop. And the Reds are still 3-0 down as we go to the bottom of the fifth. In comes Taralabar, who is 0 for 1. It's a 3-1. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologies for the cough. I've had a real, just a, just, I wouldn't even call it a cold, just an annoying tickle. As uh, Morales squares the bunt and misses. So it's an 0-2 pitch. Morales, this time he does lay down the bunt. It's a good one. Gets the runner over to second. He's out at first. It's a really good bunt with an 0-2 count, isn't it? <laughs> and to, uh, to, to our, this guy comes up, Willie T. He walks on four pitches. Maybe that's an issue of sort of pitching around to get the force but Todd Helton now comes up he's one for two with two RBIs already a 2-2 pitch and Helton goes 
<coughs> excuse me, down on strikes looking, and it's Matt Holiday now, 0 for 2. An 0 2 pitch. Holiday's hit it well. That's going to find the fence in left center field. And it's going to be more runs for the Rockies. Is there going to be two? Surely they send him with two away. He goes for the plate. He gets there. Runner goes for third and gets there as well. It's 5 0. Colorado of 2007 is beating the 1975 Cincinnati Reds 5 0. And Clay Carroll is going to come and try pitching. It's a 2 2 count on Horpy. He strikes out. And that will end it. But the Reds in all sorts of trouble. It is Pete Rose who is one for one with a walk. It's a one two pitch. And Pete Rose has got it all oh, almost through second base with a good play. And that's one out. It is Morgan now who's 0 for 2. It's a 2 0 pitch. And Morgan, has he got that down the first base line? No, first base has it. 2 away. And it brings up George Foster, who is 0 for 2. An 0 2 pitch. Foster strikes out. And they've got nine outs left of the Reds to somehow try and get themselves back in this game. Atkins will lead things off. He's one for two. It's a 1-0 pitch. And Atkins has hit another one well, but straight to right field. And that'll be one away. It'll bring up Tulowitzki, who is 0 for 2. A 1-2 pitch. And he strikes out. That is two down. And it'll bring up Jamie Carroll, who's 0 for 2. A 1-0 pitch. And that's up the middle. It is past the shortstop for a two-out single. And does this bring the pitcher up? No, it's uh, Torelaba, who is 0 for 1. It's a first pitch swing. He has grounded it to the third baseman. Should be out at first. And that'll do it for the sixth. So we go to the seventh. It is 5-0 to the Rockies. And it'll be many Corpus coming onto the mound to face Johnny Bench. So Morales did superbly. Six shutout innings, only giving up two hits. Are the bullpen going to let him down, though? And it starts with a first pitch single. So one on, none out for Perez now, who is 0 for 2. It's a 1-1. Perez has, that's a double play ball, surely 1-2. And the Reds' struggles continue. They're going to have to wake up soon, or they're going to be out of this before they uh, even start. It's a 1-2 pitch on Geronimo. Geronimo strikes out, and we are stretching... If you can stand from the shock, it's 5-0 to the Rockies. Okay, welcome back. It is Matsui coming in to pinch it. He's going to face Clay Carroll. It's a full count. And Matsui has grounded it to the second baseman. That'll be one away. In now will come Tavares, who is one for two. It's a first pitch swing. Tavares to the shortstop. That'll be two away. And... Is there going to be anything in this inning? It's Todd Helton. He is one for three. It's an 0-1 pitch. And Helton has grounded it to the second baseman to end the bottom of the seventh. So it is still 5-0. There is two inning to play. And it'll be Latroy Hawkins coming on to pitch to face Dave Concepcion. He is 0 for two. It's a 1-0 pitch. Can Hawkins shut down another inning here? It starts with a ground out to the shortstop. One away. All right, it is Dan Dressian, or something along those lines, coming into pinch hit. That's a full count. And he has popped it up into foul territory. Third base will make the catch, one away, uh, two away. And in will come Ken Griffey. It could be the last time we see him, but he's 0 for 3. It's a first pitch swing. Ken Griffey's got a hit. He gets one uh, to drop in front of left field for a two-out single. Can they get a two-out rally going here? Pete Rose, who's one for two. A 1-2 pitch. Pete Rose strikes out. And, well, I, not only are they going to lose, it looks like. They might even get blanked here. Will McAnamy will uh, come on to pitch. He's going to face Holiday, who is 1 for 3. It's a 2-1 pitch. And Holiday, make that it is 6 nothing as Matt Holiday crushes one. Almost second tier. And, well... This is surely the upset so far, isn't it? 383 feet. Because the 2017 uh, Guardians, they were Indians, they were at the time. They were a pretty good side. You wouldn't expect them to beat the 1927 Yankees. But still, this Rockies side, I don't think, had any sort of pedigree at, the, at this level anyway at all. As there's a ground out for one away. It'll bring up Garrett Atkins. If you can hear a cut losing its... Uh, I'm going to say 
shit, but I don't know what else to say. Uh, that is Gus. He is very desperate to go out, and I will let you out in a second, mate. Uh, Tulowitzki, 0 for 3 with a runner at first and 1 away. First pitch. Tulowitzki hits it well, but left field is there. Just for a second, it looked like it might skip past him, didn't it? Two out, one on for Jamie Carroll, who's 1 for 3. It's a 1-1 pitch. It is going to slide into right field. Is the runner going to go for third with two out? You'd imagine so. And he gets there. So runners at the corners. Two out. Taralaba at the plate, who is 0 for 2. It's a 1-2 pitch. And he strikes out. So we go to the ninth. And the mighty Cincinnati Reds of 1975 need six just to stay alive. It is Joe Morgan, who is 0 for 3. A 2-2 pitch. Hawkins was staying on the mound. It's a good hit. It's not going to leave, though. And it's one away. In comes Foster, who is 0 for 3. It's a 1-1 pitch. Foster with a ground ball. I cannot believe what is happening here. The Cincinnati Reds are going to get blanked. It's Johnny Bench to face Hawkins. He's 1 for 2. They're down to their final out. It's an 0-1 pitch. And that is out at first. Surely it is. Oh, it's not. They've dropped it. And we're not done yet. Surely not. It is Tony Perez who is 0 for 3. Full count. Perez. It's a little dribbler back to the pitcher. This time, he gets an infield hit. Two on, two out. They're not going with a whimper, which is something, I suppose. Geronimo now, who's 0 for 3. It's an 0-2 pitch. Is this the whimper that we were expecting? Yo, not yet, but it should be out. Surely he goes to the base. And the 2007 Colorado Rockies have eliminated the 1975 Reds. So, there we go. Is that the upset so far? Surely it is. So, it'll be the Phillies and the Rockies in the next round there. And our next episode will be the 1998 Padres facing the 2019 Nationals. It'll be the first time we've seen the Nationals, of course. They didn't have an inter-franchise playoff. And, uh, well, I don't want to pick a favorite for that one because I've just mocked uh, the Reds out of existence here. So, <laughs> I'll see you next time for that one. If you've enjoyed this one, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, of course. And, uh, what a shock that is. Take care.